This is the phone directory template at SharePoint dashboards.com. This allows you to set up a formatted phone directory within your SharePoint list that will be easy to read and easy for users to scroll through to find names and organizations. You can see exactly how this is going to turn out on the previous screen before you even apply anything to SharePoint. You can adjust the settings to control the appearance and have this look exactly the way you want. In order to use this template, you do need to create a list that's going to have the title field, a text field named name for the name of the person, a text field named phone one and a text field named phone two. Another thing you'll need to do is go ahead and create records for each of the letter headers. So you're just going to make a placeholder record for the letters A to Z, and that's going to help with the output, which you'll see in a moment. You can control the labels on the headers, uh, depending on what you want there. You might, for example, want to put in a uh, cell phone or work number or something like that instead of phone one or phone two. That is configurable. And then I can control the width of this um, by just adjusting these sliders however I want. So plenty of options to let you get this set up the way that you want. I've got my SharePoint list ready to go. As you can see, these are the only fields that are needed. I've renamed my title field to organization, and then I've got a field for name, phone one, and phone two. That's all that's needed. Notice also I've got a record for just the letter A. So you will, when you first create this list, go ahead and add those records. Notice I've got one for the letter B and so on. This is used as a part of the template. At this point, it's very simple. I can just click copy template, follow the directions in the box, then come back over to SharePoint, go to the view header, and I need to select format current view. And then when that opens up, I want to get into advanced mode. I will simply paste my code in and then save and it will apply the template. All right, here we go. Advanced mode, select all, paste and save. There it is. I've got my phone directory. I'll go ahead and scroll up and you can see exactly how it's going to work. Notice also when I roll over the records and I have a pointer so I can click on that if I need to make uh, updates or of course I can add new records to the list. And in my case, I've loaded in 500 dummy records just to see what this will look like. And as you can tell, it can handle all those records. Every time I get to a new letter section, I've got a blue header. So that just makes it very easy to see and it stands out. This is much the same as the user experience that you might have on a cell phone when you're scrolling through your contacts list. That's all there is to it. This template is available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you have not yet used this tool, you can sign up for free to try out the 21 free templates. And then if you go on and sign up for a subscription, you can get full access to the hundreds of templates that are available on this site. Good luck.